Okay, so if you have a uh, Peterbilt 579 or a KW T680, you're thinking about a light upgrade, this is the video for you. As you can tell, driver's side, a lot crisper, sharper, brighter. That's the HID Morimoto. And then of course the halogen is on the passenger side. I am going to have to adjust and light up a little bit. Probably the other one once I set in the, um, the new um, projector housing. Big difference though, see how bright it is already. Okay, so if you have a uh, Peterbilt 579 or a KW T680, you're thinking about a light upgrade, this is the video for you. Now, as you can tell, this assembly is fairly new, crystal clear. This one is original and a little bit of haze. So one of the things I'm going to do is wet sand that out and try to get it a little bit clearer. But what we're doing today is we're going to re replace those projector assemblies with some new ones. And not just any new ones. The best on the market. And for a third of the price of buying another assembly, let alone two brand new ones. Okay, now this is the passenger side with the new assembly. And you can see how crisp that line is in that hot spot. How good she is. And then over here in the driver's side, which is the original one, you can see how scattered the line is. And of course, that does nothing for you at nighttime going down the road. Still has a slight hot spot, but not as well as that one. That one, definitely see how defined it is. This one, not so much. So yeah, but that's why we're replacing these. All right, that's what we're replacing right there. The actual reflector housing. Six bolts. And what we're gonna do is install these. These are Morimoto's. And as you can tell, there you go, as you can tell, same bolt pattern. So it fits right in. And the little wire right there is because it's a Bi-Zeon. HID lights, GTR, lifetime warranty, ballast. But yeah, let me take out the old ones and get these new ones in. Okay, so there goes the Morimoto projector housing installed. I'm going to have to get a right angle cap there for the bulb. Got to mount this wiring, the ballast, and everything. But yeah, instead of six screws, it's just four screws. But you have little tabs there that poke up in those two right there oh, it's hard to see but yeah keeps it in place and as you can see check this she's warming up 
nice sharp lines there. Real bright hot spot. That's low beam. And let's do high beam. And there goes high beam. Still got the halogen high beam there. And now, of course, there's a bi Xeon, so it opens up a little shutter and it allows the bulb 100% early reflection. So, high beam. And low beam, much better. You can even see it in the daylight. And this upgrade ran me about 350 bucks altogether. Installed the projector housing, HID bulb to ballast. Yeah, third of the price of new headlights. And a much better beam, I believe. But yeah, there you go. That's what you gotta do if you have um, one of these Peter Book 579s and also the Kenworth T680s. And I think there's the other two models where they have the large housing with a stock halogen projector in there. You can replace it with that Morimoto unit and much better lights. But yeah, so let me clean all this stuff up and um, see you guys out there. Low beam, high beam. That's the Morimoto's HID and their EVOX projector housings and the stock headlights. That's a humongous improvement, I'm telling you. And that's just 35 watts, too. That is not the 55 watts. That's 35 watts.